Hi, welcome to another tutorial from oemdrivers.com. No malware, just drivers. All right guys, today we're gonna to show you how to switch Windows S mode into Windows Home mode so you can install programs from outside the Microsoft Store. And our example is gonna be Google Chrome, which is not currently in the Microsoft Store. So the first thing we need to do is I'm going to give you the example google.com forward slash chrome and try and install it. It even gives us a message because it's been detected that we need to switch out of S mode. And if we try to open the executable chrome setup.exe, we're brought up with a message saying that the device is protected. Uh, for security and performance, Windows 10 is in S mode, runs Microsoft verified apps. So to fix that, we need to right click on the start menu to bring up the extra little context menu there with some extra options. Go to system, scroll down a little and in the about section, you can see change product key or switch to Windows 10 Pro. We'll click on that. And we've got some more information here. It says what it is. Go to the store. Now we need to be online to be able to do this because it does download a, a digital certificate. Switch out of S mode. You may want to think twice about switching out of S mode. I'm not going to think twice because I actually want to be able to use Windows. So we click on get. We do have to sign in with a Microsoft account. If you want to stay anonymous, you can make a uh, burner account, I guess. <clears throat> Microsoft um, Hotmail or Outlook account. Next thing is after we've signed in, we need to click on get it and it installs and it tells us what you get and what you don't get with it. And it switches over to S mode. You can now install apps from outside, outside the store like you should be able to in Windows. Windows is activated with a digital license. So now we go and try and run that exe file again. And this will be the same for any programs that you download that are compatible with Windows 10 or Windows 11. Uh, it'll now be able to install. That's running and that's an offline installer. So it's actually downloading more executable files to be able to install Chrome onto the machine. And it's that simple. Uh, don't don't be paying technicians to do this for you. You can do it. Anyone can do it. All right. There's nothing to be uh, worried about. Very simple process. So as you can see, um, Google Chrome has just been installed. It's hanging a little bit. I don't know why. It shouldn't be. It's a far, it's a reasonably fast computer. Um, once it's done, the Chrome, set, Chrome launch icon will be on the desktop and, uh, and you're away to go. You can see it's right there right now. Okay. I hope this helps somebody and somebody hasn't had to go out and call somebody in to fix this. I mean, it's a very simple process. Good luck. And thank you from oemdrivers.com.